Hey everyone, my name is Brindy and I'm head of asset optimization for Revity. We have a subsection of our company called Revity Refine, which is all about taking your asset and making it perform at the highest level possible as a short-term rental. So we increase your revenue through strategic designs, amenities, and construction updates. So how does it work? The idea is that this is a hands-off service for you or your client, whatever investor is looking at getting their short-term rental up and running or optimizing one that already exists. So we can handle full renovations, everything from a bathroom remodel to taking down walls and redoing floor layouts. We can do staging, we can do full um, furniture designs out the door, or we can do a refresh, which is where we take a property that might already, might already be um, up and functional, but it needs a facelift. So we'll keep the base furniture, but add some design accents, maybe some painted walls or whatnot to make it stand out on your Airbnb and VRBO listings. We also will handle all the logistics. So we can do stocked amenities, stocked linen closets, your kitchen cabinet, everything you need to be guest ready. Um, we also can work with the VRM as they're getting up and running with that property management company um, to review their listings, help oversee photographer fee and videography and get everything from closing till it's ready for a guest to stay in and is up on the platforms. Now we can handle that whole process start to finish or we can handle any piece they're in. Whatever the client needs works for us. Our goal is to make life easier for investors to optimize their assets and get top dollar for their short-term rentals. So let me dive into this a little more. Why do we do this? Number one reason is for money. That sounds bad, but that's exactly what we're here. We're here for business. So um, we are gonna increase your asset value, especially when it comes to construction. If we're able to increase um, the quality of the home and make it be um, better, obviously increase your asset value. In addition, if you're increasing the revenue as a short-term rental, that'll help increase the value of that home when you go to sell it later because it's a high performing asset. Next is ROI. So we see that there's a 25% direct return on investment from staging and construction improvement. Now that's the money you put in. So let's say it costs $40,000 to put it into it. That $40,000 gets a 25% ROI. So it's going to pay itself off in four years just for the initial investment you're putting in. So it's a no brainer if you're planning on um, keeping these assets, not only are you going to help your bottom line at the end, but it's paying for itself. Um, of course, it's all about marketing. If your property looks better, you're going to get better traffic. So we see click rates up to 88%. Nightly rates are up to 29%. Occupancy rate is up 10%. The combination of all those things makes an increased revenue on average 35% from clients who use our services. So this is the reason why we should do it. It may cost money up front, but it's an investment that's going to make your asset optimized and bring you more money in the end. So let me show you some example of work we've done. Um, you can see here's a house. This one is in Destin, Florida, where we took a property and we actually took this as a three bedroom house and it was a, a duplex. There's two bedrooms on top, one bedroom on the bottom that was like a studio with a garage. And we combined it into a six bedroom home that went from a property that was bringing in maybe 50,000 to over 200,000 a year in revenue. Now this is an extreme, um, case where obviously that's more than a 35% increase, but that's because we did major renovations to change the asset itself. So um, this is on one end of the scope, but even lower um, and where we're not doing full construction, you see a direct impact on that ROI. And if you look at this just visually, um, this first house was rented, it was furnished, but it is very basic. And now it is optimized for this um, fun beach girls trip getaway. And it performed really well because of the design updates and the construction updates that were done. Here's another property. This one is Panama City Beach, Florida. And um, this is actually another example of a construction. We took a, another duplex where it had two kitchens that were small. We combined it all into a larger nine bedroom single family home. And this is what the kitchen looked like afterwards. Um, so even if it wasn't a duplex, the same idea applies that you could take this kitchen and then turn it into this with some design and strategy when you do your staging. Now, here's an example of a extreme themed house. This one is a house that's in Orlando, Florida area, and it is dinosaur themed. So, of course, like in the beach or in the mountains, you may not be going there to see dinosaurs. So it wouldn't make sense to go this all out there. But in Orlando, people want the theme park experience. So that's what we created. Um, you can see the transformation from like a basic short term rental to now theme, themed out. 
Um, we are here to tell you where it's worth spending your money and where it's not. So if someone came to us and said, hey, I'd like to have you renovate my Myrtle Beach house, I'm not going to recommend dinosaurs. That'd be a wasted cost because generally people aren't going to pay extra for these custom built beds. But I would do research on what that specific tourist wants there. And we're very strategic on what kind of themes we do in each location, what kind of amenities we do in each location. Do we recommend having a hot tub? And we've got data to back it up of like, hey, a hot tub in this area warrants a 20% increase in rent, or maybe it doesn't make a difference, so it's not worth the money. So that's where we come in is it's not just design. That's a piece of the formula and we do well at design, but there's a reason and a rhyme behind everything, where you spend money, where you don't spend money. Um, for example, people are surprised to hear that we have million dollar houses and the cups that are in the million dollar houses come from the Dollar Tree. And that's because when you are booking there, a glass cup is a glass cup and they aren't going to care where it came from. They care that when they open the cabinet, they all match and are perfectly lined up and that they're clean. But on the listing, no one sees where you buy your dining plates from and your um, cups from. So you can save money on that front while putting more money towards the design and the accent walls and the hot tub that does bring in money. So that's what we're all here for is we can do anything across the spectrum, a very small upgrade as like, hey, the inside looks great. We can just work to add electrical and a hot tub and a cement um, pad because that's going to be your best ROI. Or we can do full on theming and knocking walls down. Let me show you another example. This is one where we kept the footprint the same. So we didn't do any like major construction. It was cosmetic. So you can see we painted it. We added um, Wayne's coating. And this is a 1920s Gatsby vibe. And it's so much more of a dramatic. Look at the change when you walk into this. Now you feel luxurious and it provides an experience for a guest. And this, um, I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but the revenue increased dramatically just from these changes as well. So it doesn't always take full theming. We can even do ones that don't call, involve uh, Wayne's coating, but it's amazing what some strategic design and paint can do for a house and for your revenue numbers. So let me show you a tool that Revity has that will help you crunch numbers initially, especially when um, you are putting offers in on houses if you are purchasing a house to make into a short-term rental so you can figure out if it's a good investment. Um, we have an estimator tool. I'm just going to go right into the website to show it to you. So when you go into the Revity Refine portal and you go to Design and Stage and click Get, Get Estimate, it'll take you to this page. Now this gives you a ballpark estimate just to help you crunch numbers and figure out like when you're putting offers in on proper, uh, properties, if they need to be furnished or if you want things added, it'll be on there. Um, this is just for your information as a helpful tool. Uh, for planning purposes, when you actually have a house, it's very specific to the house. So you'll reach out to us and we will give you a um, proposal that's specific to your house. Um, once again, it's going to be dependent on your location. Like if we recommend certain amenities, if there's game rooms or hot tubs or certain themes that would be helpful. We also can look at what's there with the house currently. So if your house comes with furniture, we'll tell you like, hey, we could keep half of this and it'll save you money. Or we're going to be starting from scratch because it's all grandma couches. Um, so take this with a grain of salt. It's mostly used for acquisition planning purposes, but it's a good tool, especially for agents. So come in here and plug in some information. So like the label is whatever you want it to be called, Orlando House. Address, I'm going to say this is a three bedroom home with two bathrooms, with one living area, one outdoor space, no game rooms, a medium sized kitchen. This dining table is actually gonna be connected with the other section. Um, so by the time you get there, that's not gonna be a section. Um, hot tub, mm, no, that's okay, I don't want a hot tub. A sauna, no, I don't think I need a sauna. Once again, when we look at your property specifically, we will tell you if we recommend any of these and you could choose to take it or leave it, but we will do like some data specific recommendations. Theater room, nope, there's no theater room, there's no kitchenette. Destaging, so like furniture in the house that needs to be removed. And do you want us to do photos and videos? Um, and that includes the cost of the actual photos and videos. So sure, I'll take that. Let's submit for this particular house. The ballpark with all the bells and whistles and everything is 42,000. Now this includes um, like a couple accent walls on the property um, because we usually do like to do some wallpaper or painted accents or shiplap or whatever to depend on location. This includes full stocking. So um, stocking your linen closets to have enough for full turnovers, also stocking your kitchen cabinets. Um, we do gift baskets. And so the initial stocks of that, that go along with the theme of the home. 
So if you were to get all the bells and whistles for staging, this is how much it would be. Now you can take that and be like, well, I think we can keep half of it. So in my mind, I'm going to cut that in half and I'll plug 20,000 in when I'm doing my numbers for buying this house. Um, then once you're like, hey, we got this under contract, we want to um, get an actual quote, you send us an email and we will look at the property address and give you very specific recommendations based on the home itself and what things we think would optimize your revenue. Um, so utilize this tool. Um, like I said, it is there for you to help you know what would be helpful when you're crunching numbers on acquiring houses and whatnot. Um, when you actually have a house that you know you want staging on, um, reach out to us because it is going to be specific. This is just a user-friendly tool. So let me dive back over into here. Now, if you are not an investor yourself, but you want to utilize and recommend our services for um, your clients, and if you're like an agent or if you are a like financial broker or whatever, we will give you referral bonuses for every client you send our way. So um, just make an email introduction with re refined at revity.com. And um, if that client signs a contract, we'll pay you $500 bonus for every property that you refer us to them. So let's say you have a client who's currently buying three properties and they utilize us on all three, then you're going to get a $1,500 bonus or whatnot. Or if you obviously the same client, even if it's repeat business, it's per property. So we'd love to be able to have this be a win-win situation. Um, you refer your clients to us. If you're an investor, of course, yourself, this doesn't apply, but that also creates some savings on your side because there's no referral bonus built into it. Um, but let me know if you have any questions. My direct email is brindy.barton at revity.com, which we'll have in the, the notes. And you can always uh, reach out to refined at revity.com as well. But we would love to be there um, for you to help you optimize and provide strategy behind your actual asset and getting it up and running. So hope to talk soon.